Can't be easy for him bringing up the children on his own. They say he's one sort of person when he's out in the open with people. Quite another behind the walls of his own house. Ah! Move and I'll cut the ass off you. God forbid you should spend another night under this roof. If it's such a burden to you. I love this house. I hear you're seeing Mr. Moore. Post office. I'd be careful if I were you, Post. I'm talking of marrying again. I hope all of you know that I want to make Daddy's life easier, but I'll never take anyone's place if I'm not wanted. Why was it that Maggie didn't go for the nursing? Daddy didn't like it because it came from Nook. Well, of course, he wasn't thinking of her. He was doing it against me. A profession would be something for her to fall back on. You never know what's going to happen in life. While Rose and I are here, you have one home you can always come back to. Daddy will be proud to see the way you set yourself up. He won't say it, but it's plain enough he wants you to go home. I won't go home. Margaret Donahue, County Wexford. Maggie Moore. This is Luke. Medicine is a highly respectable profession, Mr. Moore. He won't change his mind. I can go to the university. I'll go to Dublin with Lorna. I want to know what you think of Mark, Daddy. We're thinking of getting married. Look at my dress. So you do see that brother of yours? I do. So you ever talk about coming home? Now, Daddy, Maggie doesn't know anything. Did you ever listen to yourself carefully, Rose? If you listened a little more carefully to yourself, you might talk an awful lot less. Michael, this is Nell Mora. Michael. You grow up fast, all right. I think she'd have better things to do than cradle snatch. I take it you have a lot of experience, then. I have enough. <laughs> Sea, the sky. It's our lives. It's just the way things go. Maybe we should go to one of the hotels for tea. Or ice cream. <laughs> no. I think we should go home now. It's easy to spoil the day by trying to do too much. Are you sure, Rose? I'm certain.